Daisy on Gears. And we're speaking to a lady I haven't spoken to in a long, long time, Daisy. Um, her name is Lily Radloff. She's this gorgeous redhead. Oh, really? I love the name Lily. Yeah, gorgeous redhead from uh, Woman 24. Ooh. And they have just completed a female nation survey, approximately a million adult women who live in the metro areas and earn more than 6,000 rand per month. It's great to speak to her again from Woman 24, Lily. Hello, Lily. Hello, Sasha. Thanks for all the compliments, guys. <laughs> <laughs> pleasure. It's so great to speak to you again. Oh, it's always a pleasure. So now, listen, this must have been a very big undertaking to get approximately a million people to do the survey. No, no. Um, a million people didn't do the survey. Oh, we sorry. Got, sorry. <laughs> we got about 4,000 people to do the survey. Oh, and then okay. we got a quantitative suspicion um, to weigh that against the national census results to represent just over a million women in this demographic. I understand. Okay, that makes uh, a lot of sense. Yeah. But, okay, um, before we get into specifics about the survey, mm. were you surprised by the results or were you happy by the results? I was happily surprised by some of the results and un unhappily surprised by some of the results. Mm. Um, and some of it I expected. Okay. Yeah, it's, what it's, what was something you didn't expect? Um, the biggest thing I didn't expect is I didn't expect that the percentage was going to rise so much between 2009 and 2013 um, of the the amount of women who were both the main breadwinners and the main caregivers in families. Really? Um, in 2009, that was 49%, so almost half of mm -hmm. all women. Um, did let's say the traditional man's job, a traditional woman's job, and this year it's sixty-two percent. She was okay. So that's scary. That's one of the unhappy surprises. Yes, yeah, so are we lo are women losing their independence, Lily? Well, I think they they're not losing their independence. They they're losing um, basically time to move. I think they're losing themselves. I mean, it's two women uh, for two people to do. Um, three jobs, that's okay. Yeah. But for one person to do two jobs, that's rough. And if you're a woman and you think that 62% of South African women are bringing home the bacon and then they have to cook it too, it's it's quite insane. Yeah, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty hectic. Yeah. Okay. No wonder we're all so crazy and pressurized. Well, there we go. <laughs> Speaking of crazy, are, are from the survey, are women happier than they were in 2009 in general? Yeah. Funnily enough, they stress more, yeah. but they all consider themselves as positive people. Well, not all, but something ridiculous, like 85%. Um, I'm not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, kidding. No, that was a lovely surprise to see that so many, so many South African women describe themselves as positive. Because I, I, I must say, I, I think that is, I think that's quite remarkable. Because if if you look from 2009, I mean, just from a financial point of view, we were just sort of hitting a. a you know, a bad curve, but it's not as though anything really has improved over the last uh, four years. No, no, not really. Um, uh, even more women, you know, uh, even more women are stressed about money. Yes. Um, extremely stressed about money, and um, not, almost no one is saving. Everyone's in debt. Um, it's I'm not. It's not a picture on the financial side of things. I'm not even a woman, and I'm exactly the same boat. <laughs> well, the reason for that could be it says looking good means feeling good. Women who spend more on beauty products are generally happier. So that's where yeah, that's going. an interesting one, isn't mm. it? Is it, a chick, is it a chicken and an egg argument? I mean, yes. are you happier, so then you spend more time, or you have more money to spend on yourself, or does it actually make you happier? It's it's a, it's a tricky one. Yeah, I'm I'm scared to to pull any. <laughs> anything from that <laughs> yeah no, that, that worries me listen something that i think is a uh, is, is a national topic especially when it comes to uh, the the unfortunate sort of social degeneration that, that we sometimes see uh, uh, happening within this country how are women specifically from the survey looking at uh, family how are they looking at uh, being being wanting to be part of a family Having a family, divorce rates, uh, marriage rates, how, how did that come out? Um, well, like I said, the problem with the families at the moment um, is that women are doing 
both working so hard, yeah. Mm. Um, but um, uh, only 4% say that their partners provide the most care. But happily, 31% say that they share equally. Okay. So it's not, it's at least 31% are, are working together. Um, or most women would, would um, prefer domestic help if they could, um, either in the form of a nanny or, you know, a, a domestic worker. Um, and the funny statistic to me was that, again, once again, I think this is the fourth survey we've done now, and once again, there was no correlation between having children and personal happiness. Oh, really? So, once again, I'm loath to, to draw any conclusions from that because it can be, you know, women who don't have children don't know what they're missing or women who have children already can hardly give them back. So, um, but, but having a fulfilling job um, does have a, quite a high correlation with being happy. Okay. So when we talk about family, um, I think... I think not much has changed. I think women would just like to have a bit more help at home. All right. Okay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense as well. Which because it's not really a new thing, is it? No, it isn't. But I mean, the problem is, is that you know everyone's having to work, as you say earlier, two jobs or maybe even three jobs, and they're still got to come home and do everything that, that unfortunately is still expected. Yeah. And uh, of course, then that raises the stress levels, and then eventually, the only way to relieve the stress, Lily, is to have a very active and very good sex life. How do oh, women like reason. sex? Well, married women, unsurprisingly, have the most sex because, I mean... Exactly, because they've got the a... point of marriage. All right, so they've got a partner most of the time. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, but sadly, one in three have admitted to cheating on their partners. All right. Um, I thought one in three was rather high, but I sure. spoke to Dorothy Black about it. You know, your own dot from dot spot. Yes. And she said she was actually surprised that the number was so low. Wow. One in three. I'm just looking at the girls in the office here. Naughty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> One of our commenters said, well, between his mother, his mother-in-law and his wife, he's looking at... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that number obviously also goes up the older women get. Mm. Um, you know, I think mostly because I don't think a lot of people think within the first two years of their marriage, they, they, need, they feel they need to have an affair. Yeah. But maybe after 20 years, you know. Unbelievable. It's, 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 it's all speculation, of course. Yes, no, 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 all speculation. But, I mean, it, 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 it can be interpreted uh, the way anybody wants to as long as you've got the actual statistics in front of you. Exactly. Yeah. Now, uh, I don't want to talk about that. What is the most, what is troubling women the most? And, and I know we've picked up a couple of things um, in terms of having to, to work too many jobs or, or not having enough help, help around uh, mm. the house, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I there, think uh, mostly it's money. Everyone wants okay. more money. But, I mean, men, like you say, I don't know a man who doesn't want more money either. Um, and social issues, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Almost 90% of South African women of the, in this demographic said that they were going to vote next year. Okay, that's good. Um, because crime is, is a big worry. All right, that's that's the because th I wanted to get into something like crime. I mean, you know, uh, being a woman uh, unfortunately makes you even more vulnerable purely be from a physical point of view. Mm. I mean, not that I think more more men are killed in South Africa than women. No, um, you know, because I once again I'm not going to go there, um, mm. but definitely I think women are afraid um, with with gender based violence and and all the crazy statistics that we hear every day, um, people are scared. Very scared, yeah. And Lily, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, we spoke about, or Daisy brought it up, spending more on uh, health care, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Plastic surgery, I know, is becoming a bigger part Almost of many people's half. lives. Almost half. Um, in 2009, just under 20% said. Um, 20%, they would, yeah. They would do it, and now it's more than doubled. Wow. Um, I don't know if the if it's because people are getting more used to it, the, you know, the procedures are better or the doctors are better or if the pressure is getting higher or if it's a combination, I'm not I'm not sure. Um I do think hopefully it's it's not all, you know, crazy dangerous plastic surgery. Maybe oh. they're just referring to the odd Botox here or a bit of a collagen lip there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> something like that. Hope not the trout part. Um, mm. The trout part. 
I like yeah. that. Oh, that's very One funny. of my favourites. Yes. But no, I mean, if they, if women feel that that would make them happy, who are we to judge? Mm, no, 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 yeah, no. Just so interested to know the statistic. I mean, uh, you know, basically hundred and uh, hundred and twenty percent increase from four years ago. So now, Lily, uh, uh, do you start working on the next survey? Uh, where these results, are, I mean, are available on woman twenty four dot com. Um, are they going to be published anywhere else? Uh, no, they won't be published anywhere else. Um, we will. We do have a separate site section for it. It's yeah. on woman24.com forward slash survey if you want to see all the results. Yes. Um, but we will basically keep them obviously safe and secure so we can compare next year's results to them and see all if right. anything has changed because that's always fun. Listen, I must say, yeah, I mean, just reading through everything that you've said uh, and, and we've asked, of course, is there and in much more detail as well. So, uh, yeah, some remarkable findings. I must say, very yeah, interesting. One last thing that yes. really surprised me is that only 2% of women think it's okay for them to pay on dates. Only 2%? Not, not going Dutch, though. Yeah. Most, most women said it's, well, not most. Let's yeah. see here. I think 48% said it's okay yeah. um, to go Dutch. Um, 40% said, or 50% said, no, they expect the man to pay. And the other two said, okay, no, they don't mind if they pay. Ooh. That was rather low, I thought. Yeah, I think it's very low. Because, I mean, if, we, if we're going to be emancipated and empowered then you can't really expect men to pay your wage, can you? I don't know. Yeah, well, I, think, think yeah I think that's weird. It is weird. See, I Especially would if you're both working. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it's, I'm completely fine with the whole idea of, you know, taking turns or sharing the bill or mm. whatever, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I found that quite odd. See, I'm, I'm like a little bit old school. I always believe that the man should pay, even if it's taking the wallet out of the lady's handbag. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's great, Lily. That's uh, very interesting, and of course, we'll we'll post everything up there, and, and hopefully get some interesting comments. Are, are there comments? Uh, is there a comments page? I was just trying to see at the bottom there. Where um, one could post. Yeah, you know, all the stories. If you actually just go in there. Yeah, and I was just looking at about, and yeah, we can read all the comments. Yes, and of course you can post comments. So that's really, really interesting. And uh, I definitely look forward to the next one as well. Awesome, Sauce. Thank awesome. you so much for chatting with me. No, it's a pleasure. The editor of Women24.com, the wonderful Lily Radloff. Lily, great to speak to you. Have a beautiful Christmas. Thank you, Sasha. The same to you. All right, we'll speak soon. Gears. Gears on balls.co.za. Weekdays, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m.